Hey guys, it's Barb Girl and it's Testimony Tuesday. Today I just wanted to talk about something awesome that happened last week. Last week my church had VBS. For those of you who don't know what VBS is, it stands for Vacation Bible School. It's when church is day camp during the summer. And many churches do it. In fact, most churches I'm personally aware of do it. But I'm not going to pretend that all churches do it. <laughs> we had over 300 children at our VBS and we had about 150 adults helping and it was awesome and I was a leader of a small group and I just wanted to share about one particular girl. I had one girl in my group who knew very little about Christianity, about God, but she knew God loved us and he made the world and things like that and Jesus was God, but she didn't know really about the cross or resurrection or any of these aspects, but she was just so hungry for God and asked me so many questions and kept asking this and that and very shortly into it, she accepted Christ the third day, the third day. Of EBS, she accepted Christ as her Lord and Savior. That is, she also got a little Bible, and the rest of the week, she was on fire to read this Bible and know about it. And I told her to start reading Luke because she didn't really know the story of Jesus. And so she was reading Luke. And she was excited because things were matching what she had learned at EBS. And the last day of the week, our storyteller, the person that was teaching the lesson, told the kids to um, stretch out their arms and she prayed like a blessing over them. And such a beautiful moment because she said that she could feel God inside of her. She was still tingling afterwards. And so many times with her during the week, whether it was questions and learning or her wanting to help the other kids do an activity that she brought stuff from home to do or talking about how she was going to teach her sister and her family about God. And so many times I was near tears because it was so beautiful and it was such a blessing. And there are so many moments in my life where I forget how many people could be right next to me, could be at my church, don't know about Christ, don't know if he's our savior, and the sweet fourth grade girl helped me see that, helped me remember that, and I would love for you guys to pray for her, pray for her growth, she wants to come to church, I'd love to see her keep coming to church, and I'd love to see her grow into this awesome person, we're Facebook buddies now and all this stuff, so I really hope to help her along. It would be fantastic. But for the rest of you, I don't know if someone could have randomly stumbled on this video, but in honor of her and in honor of the fact that there are people out there who don't know, I'm going to explain Jesus to you real quick. God loved humanity, but there was a problem called sin, and sin are the things that we think or we're saying saying or who we do that are against God's will and because of that we're separated from God we can't be in relationship despite the fact that he wants it so what he did was he came down in the form of a human named Jesus he grew up he he was a child and then an adult he came and he taught and did amazing things and one day he was murdered he was sentenced to death on a cross, which is a terrible, painful, and horrible death. But because he had never sinned, his death was our sacrifice. He atoned for us. And all the wrongs I've ever done, you've ever done, and so on, were taken away. Three days later, he rose from the grave. And that gives us hope for our future, for eternity, for our own resurrection someday. And that if we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, you confess with your mouth that 
Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you can pray something very simple to, dear Lord, I'm sorry for the things I've done. Thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. Forgive me of my sins. I'm making you Lord and leader of my life. Come into my heart. Amen. Something simple like that, and you can have him, and he can completely alter and rock your world <laughs> for all the better. I'd love to talk to you. If this is something interesting to you, um, comment or probably PM if you'd feel more comfortable that way. Or just questions about Christianity or anything in general. I'd love to talk. Okay, guys. I love you. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of R&R. &R.